Hiya guys, um, so it's time for another beer review and um, as promised uh, I'm going to do another beer by the Potbelly Brewery in Kettering and this one is called Pigs Do Fly. Um, very interesting cover on the front, if I can find a picture online um, I'll be sure to put that up at the beginning of the video like I did with the old one. Um, I've got these beers because I've recently done a, a visit to the Potbelly Brewery and they were kind enough to let me have a couple to sample. Um, so let's have a look to see what this is all about. Fantastic label. Uh, this is what it says on the front. This beer is bottle conditioned beer. It's 4.4% um, ABV. Um, I said it in the other video, I'm going to say it in this one. Uh, Rows of the Shires, which appears on all of the labels, and that basically is um, Rose of the Shires is, is the name for Northamptonshire. Um, it says, Please pour carefully, avoid disturbing any sediment. <coughs> Shush! All that noise. Go on, sit down. Uh, I'll start again. Uh, Please pour carefully, avoiding disturbing any sediment. For a clear glass of beer and then on the back um, if you watch my other video it's pretty much a carbon copy of that i think um, but i'll read it again just in case uh, this is the first one uh, potbellybrewery.co.uk situated in kettering northamptonshire commenced brewing in early 2005 with a view to produce a range of quality real ales using only the best traditional malts and hops in our brewing process enables us to brew high quality ale with consistency. Our beers are pro popular throughout the Midlands and have been enjoyed at various beer festivals throughout the country. They have achieved numerous awards, many for beer of the festival. Uh, this one is a single hot beer using Styrian Goldens, uh, easy drinking and light golden in colour. Um, so 500 millilitres. Let's crank this baby open or pop the top, whatever, and uh, see what this is about. Okay, so there's a bit of a hiss, um, but I've come to expect from uh, the pot belly that the beers are very lightly carbonated, which is um, it's quite nice actually. I didn't know how that was going to be to begin with. Um, I can smell the hops on that, I didn't know if I would be able to or not because I thought with it being a single hop it might not uh, come through but then I do know that Styrian Goldens is, is quite a potent hop anyway. It's quite a pleasant aroma. Let's give this a pour. So um, as I say, I mean, you can pour that out pretty much like that and do you know, I say it's lightly um, carbonated, but look at that's, that's actually come up a little bit more than the Captain Pig washers. Probably about one little finger head, some uh, bubbles, and I mean that's clear. Um, yet again, I haven't got a torch, but I don't know if that can pick it up, but you can see that's it's not the clearest beer I've seen, but it is clear. It, um, so colour, let's have a look. That's uh, it's a lovely light golden colour. Aromas again. Um, it's a little bit hoppy. Um, not much more different from what I could get out of the bottle. Let's dive in and try this beer. Try this beer out. So that is quite um, that is a very sessionable beer. Um, in terms of flavours. Yes, you can taste the hops, but it's 
it's very um it's not too much it's there it's doing its job but it's more of a hint um certainly i, I can taste um the the malts and That is that is very nice, um, and it is very light as well. I mean, it's described as a light beer. Um, mouth feel it's it seems to stick to your mouth for quite a while. There's it's it's hard to describe because I'm not very good at describing the flavours of beers. But oh, pardon me, it's it's like a sticky sticky flavour, but light tasting at the same time. There's an aftertaste of the bitterness, but it's only at the front. I would say most of the flavours on this are at the front of the beer. Definitely, most most of the flavours are on the front of the tongue. I'm not really picking too much up at the back. Um, I don't really know what else to add to that. that it is a nice bit. I probably wouldn't rate that as high as I would Captain Pigwash. Um, I think I gave that 7 out of 10. I would probably give this more, maybe 6.5. I, that is a very sessionable beer. You could drink quite a few of them. And it doesn't lose its flavour either. Sometimes you can have a beer. And once you've had that initial flavour impact, um, that can be it. But every time you taste that, you get the same burst of flavours. Mouthfeel, um, how to describe mouthfeel? I think I've done it actually. It, it tends to stick quite nice. And then slowly the flavour dies off and you, you're left with that sort of bitterness. Uh, so yeah, I mean, there's, there's not much more I can say. Anything else I would say, I'd be rambling, really. Um, but that's another beer from the Potbelly Brewery. Uh, pigs do fly, 4.4%. Guys, I'm pretty sure you can buy this um, on the internet. Um, but I've decided that uh, if you want to try any of these beers, I'm going to do a little competition. Watch out my home, for my Homebrew Wednesday video for that. Um, I've not quite got to 100 subscribers yet, but I'm getting there. So I'm not going to go into too much on that, because this is a tasting video, not a, not a Homebrew Wednesday video. Um, but I'm sure you can buy the, these beers online. I know um, I saw one review, which I'll find the details. And if I can find the website, I'll put the details below where you can buy these. Um, very, very nice beer. Hmm. Last one, guys. Cheers.